Welcome to this James the Bike Guy where today we're getting to check out a bike that you guys have been asking for and I have been eagerly awaiting to arrive. A bike with 130 millimeters of front suspension travel, progressive geometry, and a rowdy setup from a big name brand. That's right, we're checking out the Giant Fathom. And this is the Fathom 1 which comes specced with some very nice parts for the money and we're going to go into all those parts, the features of this frame, and then of course we'll find out exactly what it weighs. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you, be sure to sit back, relax, and let's check out this bike together. Giant's Fathom series is a collection of hardtails that are really designed to be more fun and more playful than a traditional hardtail. Most of the time, many of the legacy brands used hardtails as kind of the less expensive way into mountain biking or the option for somebody looking to do cross country and very light trail work. And in recent years, more and more have people turned to hardtails like this for a way to get some additional value out of their bike over a full suspension, but still be able to have the rowdy fun times that you might have on trail to all mountain style trails. And to be able to help with that, Giant has come out with the Fathom. And this Fathom is outfitted with a whole bunch of really neat features we'll get into in a bit aside from just that 130 millimeters of front suspension travel to make this bike way more capable on the trail. Now in this series, there's a few different levels and the version we're looking at here, the Fathom 1, is towards the top with a price just under $2,000, which allows you to get a whole heck of a lot of bike out of an aluminum hardtail and something that should be fun on most varieties of trails. And the geometry that's set up with this is definitely going to bring it towards the side of being able to be a first true mountain bike for those getting into it, or a bike to supplement your full suspension to give a different experience on the same trails that you ride day to day. Diving into the frame of the Fathom Hardtail from Giant, we'll start off by talking about their Alux SL Aluminum. So the Alux SL Aluminum is a top level grade of aluminum which is going to be shaped and butted so you can see the tubing here is shaped all around to what's going to work best butted for thick and thin spots to help reduce weight but keep strength and then up front you'll have their overdrive head tube which is an inch and an eighth to inch and a half tapered down to 130 millimeters of front suspension and moving past there we have a press fit dub bottom bracket moving out back to a through axle rear end so this bike will be set up boost, meaning we have 15 by 110 millimeter through axle up front. In back, it's 12 by 148 millimeter. And these bikes are going to be running some huge 29 by 2.5 inch tires. Now, talking about some frame geometry, let's run into it. So this has 130 millimeters of front suspension travel operating with a head tube angle of 66 degrees. You'll be perched on the saddle in a very steep 75 degree seat and then it's going to have a chainstay length, which is a touch on the longer side for these bikes at 434 millimeters. Now, combine this together, it does have a straight seat tube, which allows you to run this dropper post all the way down into it. You do still have a mount for seat tube water bottle and down tube triplicate water bottle mounts, so you can run some extra gear along with your water bottle. And on the down tube, you have an underside water bottle mount as well. Now, going through the rest of the frame, it is an integrated headset. You do have internal cable routing that runs through the down tube of the bike and then comes out just above the bottom bracket junction to make for easier serviceability. And then they separate the seat stay from the top tube. You can see these are divorced, two separate spots, which helps with some compliance on the rear end of the bike. Now, this bike is going to have clearance for up to 29 by 2.6 inch tires, and you can see that happen by looking through and having this really thin portion to the frame. So this piece that runs across here is essentially a solid bar that's cast together to be able to give extra room between the chain ring and the chain stay. So you can see we've got two different welds here and that allows them to tighten everything up without a traditional drop stay, which compromises some of the strength in the rear end depending on design or adds weight. And instead be able to make this combine all together in a traditional chain stay design. And checking out the bike, I think it really fits the part with a real aggressive look to it and definitely a geometry to allow you to do some progressive riding. And controlling that progressive geometry is the Giant Crest SL RLC. So this is a 34 millimeter stanchion fork made specifically by and for Giant. And what we have here is on the RLC version, we've got a progressive adjustment from open to form. There's different detents inside of here that you might be able to hear. 
they kind of click through. And then down at the bottom of the fork is going to be rebound adjust. So you can speed up or slow down the rebound adjust. And on the non-drive side, there is a spot for air adjustment to be able to dial in the air spring, stiffer or softer, based on your riding weight and your riding feel. Moving into the cockpit of the bike, we've got Giant's Contact Trail Handlebar. This is a 35 millimeter bar diameter handlebar that's 780 millimeters wide for a nice wide stance to it. Connecting up with their Contact SL stem, also alloy, four bolt faceplate, two bolt onto the steerer. And then that goes to the back to the Giant's Romero saddle mounted up on their Contact dropper post. And this dropper post works pretty neat because it's going to come in varying drop lengths based on the size. So up on the handlebar, it's a one by style setup. So this thumb button is what's gonna raise up the saddle. So if we go ahead and do that, we'll press the button, saddle comes up, which allows you to be in a full height riding position. Press that lever again while your weight's on the bike and that saddle will drop right back down. To build forward propulsion, we need to go through the one by 12 drivetrain. So this is a 1x12 system, meaning we've got one ring up front with a narrow wide chain ring for chain retention. And then out back, we have a 12 speed Eagle drivetrain from SRAM. So this is the NX Eagle, which is one up from the most basic, but it operates through a super wide range 11 to 50 tooth rear cassette. And inside of this gear range, that's then going to be driven forward to a 30 tooth narrow wide chain ring on the SRAM SX crank set going through a press fit dub bottom bracket. And slowing the bike down is courtesy of Tektro's Orion four piston brakes. So these Orion four piston brakes use mineral oil. They do have a really nice feel in my opinion. And then going down to the rotors is gonna be a four piston caliper, both on the front and the rear operating six bolt rotors. And the last bit of parts to talk about before we get into weight is of course gonna be the rubber and the wheels putting this bike to the trail. So here, we're rocking some super wide two and a half inch Maxxis tires, both on the front and the rear. The front is running a more aggressive Minion DHF, which has nice strong tread blocks for good grip in the front end, especially under speed. And then when we go to the back, it has Maxxis's Aggressor, which is one of my favorite trail tires, especially on the back because it's super fast rolling, but also has great side knob to it. And then those are gonna be mounted up on some tubeless ready AM29 wheels from Giant. These Giant wheels are tubeless ready, of course, going to J-Bend spoke disc brake hubs, 30 millimeters internal width. And what's really neat is out of the box, Giant comes with tubeless tires and tubeless wheels, which allow you to have extra durability and a much lower chance of flats when running a mountain bike set up tubeless. The actual weight for the Giant Fathom 29 comes in and weighs. 28.52 pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the 2022 Giant Fathom 29.1. Go ahead and let me know what you think about this rowdy hardtail. While you're at it, be sure to hit that like button. It lets me know you enjoyed the video and definitely browse the channel and consider subscribing so you can see more videos like this in the future.